Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. This is Ron again from DJI Enterprise. Today's video I will be covering the DJI Terra software version 3.9. Previously we have released a new LiDAR scanner called the Zemus L2. And uh, in this version of the DJI Terra software, it added support for the L2 payload. Now DJI Terra with the 3.9 version, it can process raw data captured from the L2 systems. So if you are an L2 user, please make sure to update your Terra software to the latest. In addition to the L2 support, we also added some functionalities specifically on LiDAR point cloud processing, which I will go through in today's video. Under the point cloud processing, the smooth point cloud options is now default off. Enabling the smooth point cloud options will smooth out any small elevation changes that is less than 5 centimeters. Okay, so the first feature we're going to talk about is the vertical profile viewing. After you finish process the light at point cloud data, um, upper right corner you will find an option now that says profile. Now click on that and you can define your profile width. In this case I'm going to set to 20 centimeters which is 0.2 meters. And from here, you can draw your line to view the vertical profile of your point cloud. Uh, for example, like this. And once you finish, right-click the mouse to confirm. And that's going to give you the vertical profile, as you can see. Now, you may find this line perpendicular to the line you draw. Now, that's the viewing directions. For example, right now, I'm looking from south to north. That's why you see that tree over there on the right side match with my vertical profile tree on the right side. Now if I draw a line from north to south, my tree is going to be over on this side. So that line perpendicular to the line I draw is going to be my uh, viewing direction. Now you have this coordinate option, select that to measure the coordinate of the points within the profile. That gives you the uh, coordinates in XYZ or longitude, latitude, and altitude. And the next new feature is going to be the vertical control point import. Uh, previously, you may know that DJI Terra supports you to import known points to verify the accuracy of your elevation in the point cloud model. Uh, and in this update now, you can apply known points to control your elevation to improve the elevation accuracy for your point cloud data. To enable that, go to Advanced, then select this Accuracy Control and Check. Go into this. You may find this uh, user interface is very similar to the ground control point input for the photogrammetry process. So you just need to import your known point. Select Yes. Now from this page, go to your Excel sheet or any file that contains that known point and then import from here to define data column latitude, longitude and my elevation altitude and I'm going to skip the first line and that's my name, everything looks good, the coordinate is right then select the import, uh, as you can see now it imports all the points and uh, they are currently defined as ground control points, but I don't really need that many ground control points. So I will all define those as uh, checkpoints. As you can see, the uh, icon of these points changed to checkpoint type, uh, but I can also select a few points and set them as ground control points to control my elevation. So how does it work is Terra would automatically extract the average elevation uh, around this point area and uh, compare with the point you imported then correct the model based on the average results from the point cloud model. So for example, if I just need the three ground control point and the rest of the checkpoints, I can mix and match my known points uh, and I'll put my results. Now, next I just need to select start processing to uh, apply these ground control points to my point cloud data and further improve my elevation accuracy. So that is the accuracy control and check features now with the elevation control supported. 
Now, the next part I would like to cover is going to be the quality report. We'll select quality report that brings up the quality report of your uh, mission process. You would find additional information here for you to review, such as flight parameters. From here, you'll be able to see the average flight speed directly from here, the flight height, ground beam diameter listed here, as well as the sampling rate. If you apply elevation control point as well as apply known points for checkpoints, you also find the delta Z or the arrow listed below as well. In addition, we also listed the LiDAR IMU calibration parameters. Uh, if you haven't calibrated your sensor at all, you'll only see before calibration. And that is the spatial position and orientation between the IMU module and the LiDAR module. Now, once you finish the calibration and override the calibration parameters, you also find the updated parameters over here uh, as well. In addition, you will also find the IMU trajectory arrow listed in the report also. This flight parameters is pretty handy because it shows you the flight parameters as well as the sensor settings. If you're having issue, for example, such as penetration, you'll be able to verify from this flight parameters and make further adjustments such as reduce the flight height or uh, reduce the flight speed. All right, and these are the major updates of the DJI Terra software version 3.9. Please stay tuned with the future Terra updates. We're going to have a lot more feature coming soon. And I will see you soon in the next video.